We've all been there relaxing on a plane when the person sitting next to you takes off their shoes or puts their feet up. Enter PassengerShaming.com. It's a website encouraging people to submit photos of passengers engaging in bad behavior. The photos show everything from bare feet on tray tables to people changing their clothes while they're sitting in their seats. The question is, what is the best way to handle this situation? We'll hear from Columbus, Ohio, to tell us more as the creator of PassengerShaming.com, Sean Kathleen, and etiquette expert, Julie Blake Homo, here in the studio. Good morning to you both, and thanks for being on the show. My pleasure. Uh, Good let me, thank you. Yeah, you know, Sean, this is just, I mean, you were a, a flight attendant um, for a number of years. You, I guess you saw so much. What made you decide to kind of start a website dedicated to it? <laughs> Well, originally I started a blog called Rants of a Sassy Stew, um, where I essentially um, complained about uh, some of the passengers that I had encountered you know, throughout my flights. This is while I was still working as a flight attendant. At some point, due to the number of photographs I was receiving and how horrific they were, um, I went ahead and branched off into a new site and I called it Passenger Shaming. Yeah, it's, and you can receive like, you know, how many, between 25 or 50 a day sometimes? At least. Right now it's on a huge upswing. I'm getting crazy wow. numbers. I mean, it's a lot right now. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, and we'll just, we're going to cycle through a few of them, but let me um, sh show a couple of them where, because we mentioned it in the intro, but people who put their feet on tray tables, you know, yes. they don't even have socks on. It's yes, just... there's a lot of that. A lot of the feet, I, evidently people aren't aware that those are eating surfaces for most of us. <laughs> oh. um, they're also not changing tables for your baby's dirty diapers. It's, you know, if you didn't see it, you'd, you'd be hard pressed to believe it. Let me ask you, Julie, I mean, somebody's sitting beside you and they're doing this and you want to say something. Do you, you know, you have to assess the situation as to whether you want to say yes. something. And you know, Beverly, the assessment comes with four S's. The space, okay. the sight, <laughs> the smell, and that could happen with feet, and sometimes oh. even the sound. So space, sight, smell, sound. So you want to assess the situation. You want to look at the passenger. And most of the time, Beverly, you want to use a gradual process. Mm. And sometimes just looking over at the person, trying to make eye contact, and then looking at the behavior, and then looking back, that's all that's needed. That, sometimes that could be. And cross your fingers that that works. Yes, cross your finger that works. And if that doesn't work, sometimes you've gauged the person and you think they could be open. So you could take a look at them, say hello, make high contact, smile, and then say, you know, do you mind? I'm trying to work or something like that. And you know Isn't what? Isn't this lovely? <laughs> Isn't that? So you know, the sight honestly, could be smelly, right? Like, I, you know, Sean, I know you probably, in your years, you know, flight it, you've seen it all, but I mean, some of these pictures coming in, do you ever, even at this point, say, like, shake your head and say you know, it's hard to believe? Absolutely. Almost uh, the, the majority of them, I honestly do. They're, it's unbelievable. And that's what's funny because once I started the site, you know, my original blog about, you know, ranting about um, passengers, it was almost like people didn't believe what I was experiencing oh. until I had photographic evidence. So now I can prove that it really happened. So, and I want to th throw, cycle through some more of these shots that you've got on your website. There's people sure. who seem to think that it's okay to have various stages of undress. Like, really? That, you know, really? <laughs> I know that's exactly what I do when I open the, you know, the email or the message and I just say, really? <laughs> but we don't know what happened before. So sometimes we could give the passenger the benefit no, of the doubt. Maybe, <laughs> maybe the flight attendant <laughs> spilled something onto them. Maybe, could be. So we could give them the benefit of so the doubt. So stop it up while you're wearing the shirt. Like, really? <laughs> but I, yes. And I think, you know, you, you would want to say something to somebody who's not dressed Beside you. Yes, and you know, once again, you have to assess the situation and the person. And if you don't feel comfortable, of course, go to the flight attendant discreetly, and the flight attendant yes. will make sure to take care of that. And the same thing when it's the child that has the behavior. Mm -hmm. You're not going to address mm -hmm. that child directly. And as we saw this morning, you're not going to put them on that kid cargo friendly of the April Fools from <laughs> the WestJet. So you're not going to do that. We can't do that. But you will address it with the parent and definitely not to the child. I don't know, Sean. I think it's just, it's a, it's a brilliant idea because maybe people will understand that, you know, bad behavior might get you on a website like that. 
It absolutely has. Um, as we were in the Los Angeles Times last week, and um, there is a, a new study about um, how the shaming effect with social media has actually decreased the behavior. So I'm pretty excited wow. about that. That would be lovely. Unbelievable. It's working. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming on. Appreciate it. Thank you, Julie, for being here. You're welcome. Bye.